Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. How can you tell if you need to adjust a medication dose for a patient receiving extracorporeal membrane oxygenation? There's a dearth of information about the need for dose adjustment in ECMO, but there are some general rules that can be followed. First, if the volume of distribution is low, below one liter per kilo, then the loading dose of the medication will likely need to be increased due to the added volume of the ECMO circuit. Second, if the drug is highly lipophilic or highly protein bound, then the maintenance dose will likely need to be increased due to drug sequestration. If a drug is both highly lipophilic and highly protein bound, the likelihood of needing a dose adjustment is even greater. I've created a one-page PDF that details exactly how likely dose adjustment in ECMO is based on specific levels of lipophilicity, protein binding, and volume of distribution. You can immediately access this PDF in my free critical care download section by going to pharmacyjoe.com ECMO. The PDF is download number 15.